So your achievements have inspired youngsters like me, and a lot of them, when I hope this interview is out. Uh, what do you personally want us to take from you? Like, is there any particular habit that you have that we should imbibe and have it in us throughout our lifetime? My opinion, youngsters should read and they must get into the education and they should consider it as a serious business. Education can change the nation. Education can change everything. It should be a serious business. If India doesn't give importance in the field of education, it cannot be progressed. Therefore, youngsters should take up this basic sciences or basic degrees and study hard and they should try to look for new things. They should involve by themselves. Okay? Youngsters should concentrate on studies. Must read. Must be aware of things, what is happening in the world. That is important. 5,000 bioactive materials are synthesized in your laboratory. Could you please elaborate on that, sir? And how did all this happen? 5,000 bioactive molecules are synthesized from my laboratory because, you know, more than 60 students have taken PhD with yes, me. Each student has synthesized several of them. They put together more than 5,000 molecules. Even if I, uh, my group uh, synthesized 5,000 molecules, only hardly 10 molecules are quite active. Others are right. all publishable. Publish. Otherwise, it's very, very difficult to find. You have to search a molecule which is efficient for the purpose that, that, that we propose. That's what we always look forward, you know. Uh, uh, that the way, what is called a tailor-made uh, molecules. You know, right. every day tailor switches. From the scratch. Yeah, he does it. So, therefore, this is 30 years research. 30 years, I started doing this in 1983. Look at how many years that I have spent. And uh, that's my hobby. You know, I give hard time to my student to make sure that they synthesize at least 100 molecules before they complete their PhD. Uh, so that's how my students' PhD teachers are all very valuable mm -hmm. and highly commandable by the examiners. And uh, of course, we published a lot of papers too, uh, along with my uh, invitations outside the country for several years. I worked more than 10 years outside the country and for the last 30 years, I've been in touch with the uh, uh, foreign universities, collaboration universities and put together, uh, in my opinion, altogether more than 250 scholars have worked with me, both in India and abroad. Working uh, with a person of that uh, magnitude is very rare. Uh, more than 300 uh, uh, personals, they have worked with me. Uh, that's how we could publish a lot of papers and uh, uh, that's how we could uh, synthesize more than 5,000 5, molecules. I'm happy at least out of 5,000, at least 10 of them are very potential for different types of cancers as well as the Alzheimer's disease. Uh, in fact, uh, that's the reason why the French government funded to me to have the collaboration uh, with Indo-French uh, and then I was in the uh, Mopilier CNRS as well as the Pasteur Institute Paris. They work on real Alzheimer's brain. I give molecules, we check them until the, you know, animal, but later uh, I wanted to check with the real Alzheimer's brain whether right. my molecules work for the real Alzheimer's brain. That's the applications. Right. That part I did it in, uh, I've been doing with uh, the French people. Is in fact, my possible? collaboration uh, on Alzheimer's disease started from Niman's Niman. itself. Right. Yeah, when Subhash was there mm -hmm. and uh, later some, um, some other scientists have collaborated with me. We published a lot of papers. Yes. In fact, I requested them, uh, if at all in India, uh, if one wants to study the uh, 
real alzheimer studies in nimans i asked uh, the uh, you know uh, the director of the uh, nimans to provide me the real alzheimer brain right. but uh, he said at that moment it was not available and then and hence i had to go to paris so you have always leaned towards open universities like karnataka state open university igno could you please just tell us that why distance education has been looked down but you have been opposed to it and you have actually let your lending hand on it your support to it been a member of it could you please just tell us sir why have you chosen open university as a platform to show your talent there also you know <clears throat> before i come here i was the vice chancellor of karnataka state open university much against to my will uh, i was appointed there once i appointed at the vice chancellor of the karnataka state open university i wanted to make justice for the distant education you know take any con- country in the world like china all uh, african countries in- including japan Uh, uk take any countries for that matter the disti- distant education is useful for the fellows who are not able to afford conventional university courses that is the reason why the distant education has started suppose you are in, you are employed you are really intelligent you cannot afford the uh, uh, conventional university courses what you can do you get the material you read whenever you find time and go to exam and then write no no distant education has the model has been changed they call for the uh, you know brief briefing of the subject yeah. uh, before they go to the examination and there are several uh, models Model. the distant education has put up the indira gandhi national open university is based on the act of parliament throughout the country karnataka state open university also in the similar way they have made the act i studied the act i have taken the opinion of the solicitor general of india about the act what i am supposed to do what i am supposed i can do it okay mm-hmm. that case so act also provided mm-hmm. the opportunity to offer courses to anyone anywhere that is the reason why we have uh, you know developed that karnataka state open university see you know vigilantly you have we have to be strict and you should monitor properly that apart the only the employees the the responsibility lies on the employees of the university okay. but the opportunity provided in the act is so good anyone anywhere can take the examination through distant education there are as case officers passed there are in fact uh, the british open university is a model in the world china has at least 10 open universities in my opinion south africa several in fact west indies south africa they are all running under the distant education that's how they are becoming educate, right. educated you know unless you provide the india is a big country can you afford only through conventional universities that is the reason why distant education is there i read i studied 6 months and i implemented accordingly to the act the naturally after i quit what happened i don't know they have not followed properly the guidelines of the act uh, and uh, that's how Look down now. yeah i but it's not so i have seen rank students brilliant yeah. students right. ias ks examination they have passed with the degree of the karnataka state open university what made them to discourage yeah if for countries like india distant education is obvious yeah. must that's how china the grass enrollment ratio is increasing like anything Yeah. say in india also everyone talks on the platform that you should increase the grass grass, uh, grass enrollment ratio right. but like at the same time you cut down you you don't allow uh, karnataka fellow to go outside the karnataka 
what is this i don't know this is the constitutional right, right. but if somebody comes in the middle you have to fight unless you fight you don't get anything that nature i have i fight according to the rules i fight according to my act that's how i built that university in fact that when i took over the charge of the vice chancellor it was only 67 70 crores during my term i acquired so much name fame money everything to the university why not others the university grants commission you have to convince the university grants commission or you have to make a common law saying that any state for that matter should not cross their border you should you should come out with the act of parliament saying that only indira gandhi national open university is only the university which can go anywhere in the country and at the same time you take a decision in the constitution uh, by constitution through constitutional bodies saying that yes karnataka should not cross beyond karnataka tamil nadu should not cross tamil nadu you allow tamil nadu to go anywhere in the country you stop karnataka to go, not to go in the uh, before i mean after the i mean uh, before barrier. you i mean right. yeah barrier what is this i don't know this one you have to you have to have one law one act properly being limited. yeah right. that's how in fact absolute necessary for countries like india the distant education mm. how to do it that depends on the vision of the vice chancellor and the heads you've been ranked as the top academicians from you know the academic administrative audit committee aaa so this happened when you were a faculty was that more on the feedback as a student person that they have feedback you and that is how you reached it no no that that's only university of mysore that's gets accredited audited right. all teachers and this thing in terms of research publications in terms of teaching evaluation in terms of other achievements they had um, uh, format the faculty among faculty uh, they evaluate outsiders during that time probably uh, the points were very high for me that's how be, i have become uh, you know number 1 in the academic academy yeah so that means your students have selected yeah you students know, as well as the research and other all activities yeah they 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 go on giving points for right. teaching research and projects and things like that uh, in that uh, area i mean probably i was uh, the highest right. yeah uh, rated uh, number that's how they rated be number 1